Beg your pardon, my lord. I know that it's unorthodox. But Mr. Holmes here, he's been making some serious accusations about you and the order. I see. Well, at least this solves the great mystery as to how you became inspector. <laughs> Excuse me, my lord. But I've been wanting to do that for a long time. Well, Inspector, I have five minutes before my next engagement. So why don't you regale me with your stories of conspiracy? Thank you, Lestrade. My lord. I'm curious, Count. Did you assist Blackwood in all the murders? Or just the one I prevented. It's very distinctive, those handmade shoes of yours. But the price of quality is often the unique imprint they leave. Nonetheless, I confess to being completely outmatched. I could deduce very little from my investigation. Fortunately, there's nothing more stimulating than a case where everything goes against you. How many members of Parliament do you intend to murder at noon today? Man, ox, eagle, lion. The lion's parliament, isn't it? Very clever. But it's not murder, Mr. Holmes. It's mercy. We are giving the weak masses a strong shepherd. Don't you see that it's for their own... No. But I don't care much what you think. I simply wanted to know the location of Blackwood's final ceremony. And now you've given it to me. I've told you nothing. But your clothes say infinitely more than you could ever hope. The mud smeared on your boots from where you've been walking. A touch of red brick dust on your knee from where you've been kneeling, my lady. A small bandage on your thumb from where you've been vowing. A faint aroma of excrement from where you've been standing. You and Blackwood laid the final touches to your ceremony in the sewers beneath Parliament less than an hour ago. Both houses meet today. The whole government will be present. It's a shame you made an enemy out of Blackwood, Holmes. You would have made a valuable ally. How terrible is wisdom when it brings no profit to the wise. We take power at noon. There isn't any time to waste there. Yes, sir. <laughs>